Hello. Tonight I'm standing in the milk house and my uncle Kim is here to actually breed a couple of cows. He breeds our cows. He's done it for years. We're just going to go over how we do that, how we breed our cows. And yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. So this is my uncle Kim. He does Hello. breeding for us. How long have you been breeding cows? Oh, I would I'd say that we uh, probably, probably 25 years. 25 years. Um, when your dad and I started out together. Um, and so we just wanted to try to save money by breed, doing our own breeding. And uh, I had a guy come out and he actually um, trained me, which, which your semen companies will do. They'll send a rep out to train a person, you know, the farmer that wants to learn AI. And uh, I think that we probably 25 years I've been, I've been lending a hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Obviously, artificial insemination has been very profitable for the dairy industry because keeping a bull is very dangerous. Your great great grandfather almost got killed by a bull out in the really cow yard. Yeah, um, trusted a bull, and you can never trust a bull. And uh, the bull came after him, and he had a straw hat. The straw hat blew off, distracted the bull long enough that he was able to get out. Um, artificial insemination has also done a lot to improve genetics because you have the availability of the um, bulls, you know, that you can go from all over the world, honestly. You've been to Dairy Expo, it is mm -hmm. all over the world. Um, and to improve your herd, it improves your milk, improves your butter fat. You guys were testing, what, a month or so ago? Or a couple weeks ago? A couple weeks ago, yeah. And. Uh, if you have a weakness in a cow, which her milk sample will come back, you can kind of say, well, I want to improve her butter fat or I want to improve her udder cleft or her bone shape, then you can select a bull to breed um, to counter her weaknesses. And uh, so for breeding, um, it's actually a pretty simple process. This is the gun. You want to warm that up. Um, you want to keep everything about 90, 95 degrees. Um, the gun here, I'm just going to, I rubbed a little friction, then I'm just going to keep it close to my body so it stays warm, keeps my body temperature. We have two cows to breed tonight? Two yes. Animals? All right. So this is just the sheaves that are going to go over the gun. Um, I'll grab them a little bit later on, but I also am going to, because it's cold, Put them in my back pocket. It is not as cold as it was a couple weeks ago. <laughs> Actually, tonight's pretty mild. Right. I'm just sitting here in a long sleeve shirt. Yeah. I am not. I have been cold all day. Temperature. I'm going to get the hot water. I'm going to get the water hot enough so that we get it between 90, about right, right, right around 95 degrees is what we uh, want it for. Very hot, so we're getting close. And you just have a thermometer you're sticking in there? Yeah, I do. And we are right on the schnoz at 95. I'm just putting a little dab because I want it just a hair above 95. 96 is actually a little bit I'm more comfortable with because I'm going to put two. His semen straws in here. Obviously those are preserved in dry ice and then that'll cool the water down some. Uh, somewhere over the years they made the words on these uh, semen holders a whole lot smaller than they used to be when I was in my 20s and could still read. <laughs> Mom said no cheap, so we're going to do bowlers. Oh, to whom it may concern, this is the last bowers. 
this is all dry ice uh, semen guys come out and when they deliver semen then they maintain the tank they put the dry ice in Michigan Michigan hay you're gonna have to melt me remember which cow I bred to whom okay. I need to mark it down for the lady It'll come in here, and while that is thawing, <coughs> put the glove on, the farmer's best friend. <laughs> yeah, I would hate to do it without it. Yeah. I don't think I could. <laughs> <laughs> Pulling a cap is no problem. Putting one in, in your glove. <laughs> Even after 25 years of doing it, you couldn't do it without a glove. Gonna get the glove on. On this semen straw has all the bull information. You're gonna see that this this cane is Michigan. See the name. Yep. Now I gotta put it in so it doesn't get cold. Put it in the gun like this. Come on, Kim. Snip the end. This sheath. It's too late at night. I'm forgetting what I'm doing here. This blue thing inside of the sheath is going to latch into the straw. Pull the end of it. You're going to pull it down in the gun. You see the machining ridge there. We're going to twist it over there. That holds everything secure so I don't lose it in the cow. I'm bringing the gun down till it stops. That means I've reached the end of the straw. Putting it back in to keep it warm. Put some lube on so you don't irritate the rectum. And as we mentioned earlier, it has gotten much, much warmer over the past week. Last yeah. Tuesday, I believe it was down to 10 below zero. And it was. Now today it is, uh, got up to almost 50 Fahrenheit, so. No, last week, one of the nights it was below zero, I was out to read. And I sent a picture of your mom, to, it to your mom with me doing this. And I said, it's so cold in Wisconsin, you won't believe what we have to do to keep our hands warm. <laughs> so now what you do is you go in up, up top here, and you feel down through the rectum, I can feel the gun going in up to where I need to be. And honestly, what it feels like is a chicken neck if you'd ever you know been butchering then there's three rings that you need to get through to get to where you need to deposit the semen and I'm just about there oh and this cow is pretty small my arm goes to sleep <laughs> through you want to deposit it just near right above the ovaries you don't want to go too fast because you don't want it to splash forward just kind of want to let it go smooth that's a wrap she was actually in pretty good season too Annie in Michigan help me remember that okay hi Annie yep Yep, all done. All done. How are you doing? Now you, you need to settle, anything? girl, so you can remain a profitable portion of the Oregon Echoes dairy farm. Yes. Wasn't she bred before, I believe, and yes, she didn't settle? she's been bred several times. Yeah. Yeah, we like you, Annie. So you need to, you need to get pregnant so you can you, have a calf and you, you can, can stay around. You can do better than McDonald's.
<laughs> That's what the next job is if you don't pull your weight around. Well, we're all finished now, and I really hope that was a good, detailed explanation on how we breed our cows with the artificial insemination, and I think Uncle Kim did a fabulous job of explaining everything, and that was all new information to me for the most part, too, and it made perfect sense to me, so thank you, Uncle Kim, for coming out and doing that and explaining it to everybody, but uh, one more thing, I'd really like to thank everybody for the kind comments in the past videos. I just... It's really encouraging to go through and read all the comments and so yeah thank you if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already but that's gonna be about it hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching <laughs>